I hope you're all keeping safe, checking in on your loved ones virtually, and enjoying some of the city's newly reopened amenities. As you know, the virus is still in our community, so please continue to follow the public health recommendations that we've shared over the past few weeks to help keep yourself and everyone around you safe. Visit hamilton.ca slash coronavirus for all the information you might need and the resources that are available to you uh, on that site. Thank you for continuing to do your part. At this week's virtual council meeting, council finalized and approved the members of the Mayor's Economic Recovery Task Force. Hamilton's diverse economy is reflected in the membership of the task force as it represents a diverse cross-section of many of Hamilton's key partners in growth sectors. The task force will provide multi-sectoral leadership and direction to guide Hamilton's economic recovery, creating an aggressive, action-driven plan to position the City of Hamilton now for long-term and sustainable economic recovery. Council also voted unanimously to resurface the Claremont Access and build the multi-use Keddy Trail in honor of Jay Keddy, who unfortunately was killed while riding his bicycle up the Claremont Access. The Keddy Trail will expand travel options between residents and will provide needed connectivity between the lower city and the mountain. This is a wonderful initiative for cyclists and an important tribute to Jay Kenny. And in a great turn of events, Council voted to reconsider the Sobe Bike Share Service Last week, the split decision made by Council not to keep the program until the end of the year sparked the community to rally together to save the bike share service. The $400,000 price tag to keep the program going until the end of the year was met through generous donation of the McNally Charitable Foundation, who contributed $100,000, as well as money from the IBI Group, Leuna, the Royal Connaught, Effort Trust, Roxborough Park Developments, and Urban Solutions. A very special thank you to everyone who did, donated out of your own pockets to raise an incredible $70,000 as part of Bike Share Inc.'s online crowdfunding campaign. The Sobe Bike Program has been a valuable resource for people, and I'm thrilled we continue this important and popular cycling service. A reminder that all counselors and their staff are available and working remotely. You can contact them through their regular phone numbers and emails, all of which you can find on the city's website. And I'd like to once again share a couple of more stories of how our community is showing its support to our frontline workers and helping people in need. Like the members of the Waterdown Rod and Gun Club, the club is closed due to the pandemic, but club members chipped in to donate $2,000 to the Flamborough Food Bank. Thank you for that generous donation that will keep families in our community during these difficult times fed. And a shout out to the Ancaster Horticultural Society, whose annual plant sale was unfortunately canceled due to the pandemic as well, but that hasn't stopped them from beautifying our community. Thanks to the don donations from local garden centers, volunteers planted the garden at the corner of Wilson and Rosso. They were also tending gardens this week in Ancaster Square, outside the Ancaster Old Town Hall. And thanks to all the volunteers to making our community look fantastic. Well done. And thank you to all of you for watching. Please continue to take care of yourselves and each other and see you on the next one.